It is now recording. Okay. We're on. We are on. Holy oh, shit, man. I'm so nervous. Huh? Two minutes. Lord knows I'm not going to be on camera. Rick, that's why I wanted it over there. So we get I know, everybody. Like at the back of my head. Well, you got the camera. You can pull it to yourself. Hmm? Pull it to yourself. We go, and thanks. Rick behind the glass today. There is no glass. <laughs> yeah. It's a Rick on the boards. Rick on the board. You can say behind the glass. You see, you see that story about that woman who said she wasn't going to shave her legs until the uh, NHL lockout was over? She's going to post photos of her, of her hairy legs. That's oh. gross. Yeah, that, that might get the NHL going. So disgusting. Yeah. I'm not shaving my legs. Great. They'll get a deal done. Uh huh. Please shave your legs. Gary Ben is going to be shot in the streets by some hardcore hockey fan. All right, here we go. You're listening to 540 AM WLIE, Isla, New York. The views, opinions, and statements expressed in the following program reflect the views of program contributors and do not necessarily reflect the views of WLIE Radio, its management, or its sponsors. For questions and comments, please send us an email at WLIE540AM radio at AOL.com or visit us at WLIE540AM.com. What has happened over the course of the last couple of weeks very difficult to explain. You're going to ask me about the playoff scenarios and all that business, and I'm, my concern is that our team played well in the 16th game of the year for us. You have a couple of phases that are not doing their jobs right now, and they have to if we're going to uh, resurrect uh, a little bit of pride here in our last game. Now listening to LB and the Sports Doctor here on WLIE, 5.40 a.m. The newest sports radio show out on Long Island. Stop grabbing the mic. All right, here we go, New York. You are listening to the LB and Sports Doctor Radio Show, coming to you live on WLIE 540 AM. I'm your host, Chris Burrell, also known as the Sports Doctor, and I'm here with my co-host, LB. Christopher, what's going on? I'm doing very good, my man. How's everything? Uh, everything could be better. All right. We're also streaming live right now on WLIE 540 AM.com. Remember, the number to call is 631-955-5400. Like me and LB always do, we'll, we will be bringing you New York sports talk for the next hour and a half, all the way up until 11.30. I would like to say good morning to everyone on this Sunday, December 30th. I hope everyone is enjoying their holiday. We have an excellent show for you today. The Giants, they will need a win and help for their playoff hopes to stay alive here. The Giants will need the Lions, Packers, and Redskins to win. The Jets, they will be in Buffalo today. Mark Sanchez gets the yeah, nod at yeah, quarterback. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kickoff is at 1 o'clock. The Giants game will also be at 1 o'clock. Against the 4-11 Philadelphia Eagles, the season finale at home at MedLife Stadium today. We'll talk a little bit about the Knicks basketball as they had a tough loss Friday night against the Sacramento Kings. James Johnson. Yep, moving to 21-9. and The big bowl games start this week, so we'll break down some top bowl games. We'll give you our winners some big implications today, though, in the NFL. Teams fighting for their playoff hopes today. Yes, sir. We'll get into all the NFL games going on today, plus make our picks. But first things first, LB, how you doing this week, man? I'm doing all right. My, my decision that I'm trying to make in my head right now, Chris, is which horrible game do I watch at 1 o'clock? Because I think it's kind of weird that the Jets and Giants are both on at 1 o'clock. So I want to know which bad football game do I watch? Which one's worse, watching the Jets or watching the Giants? Wow, that's tough. But you know what? You got to go with the Giants today. They're still alive. The Jets are, you know, they're done with. 
I mean, come on. Mark Sanchez, our starting quarterback. I can't take it anymore. Rex, goodbye. Have a good one. It was nice knowing you. Right. Had fun with you. But, uh, you know, Woody Johnson, grow a pair and get this guy out of here. Please get Tannenbaum out of here. Sanchez out of here. Just just revamp the whole entire thing. Start from the bottom. Please just do it. So you're ready to clean house with the clean Jets. Clean house. Get them all saying. out of there. As far as the Giants are concerned, you know, it's really not out of the realm that Dallas loses today. Chicago has a chance to lose versus Detroit offense that could put up points. Now, right. Chicago hasn't been playing great ball. And Minnesota, you know, everyone's been saying it all year. Are they real or not? So they have a chance to lose today, too. Yeah, it's not Especially far Especially playing a Green Bay team who probably doesn't want to go into the bye week with, uh, you know, just letting go. And then just say, sitting down and rest the plays and all that, you know? Right. No, it, it's not far-fetched to see, you know, these teams, this three-game scenario for the Giants. Can, can the Giants help themselves out and beat the Philadelphia Eagles <laughs> today? Well, that's the question. Andy right. Reid's last game. Andy Reid's last game. They're going to go with Michael Vick at quarterback. He's missed the last seven games. Oh, man. Yeah. So will, will he be rested or will he be rusty today? And I believe that Philadelphia, what, knocked you guys out of the playoffs like three in the last right. four years or something like that? Or, you know, every, basically when you, guys didn't win this, when you guys didn't win the Super Bowl, I should say. Right. You know, you guys got knocked out by Philly. Remember that Deshaun Jackson punt return? Oh, uh, please don't bring that one up. 31. Why not? I'm shouting out to Rob Bayshore. I know he saw that <laughs> Deshaun Jackson punt I remember return. that game. 31-10 with eight minutes remaining. You had that young kid, Matt Dodge, at punter, and everyone saying to themselves, just punt the ball out of bounds. <laughs> Whatever you do right now, do not punt the ball right down the middle. We'll go into overtime, and we'll take this game into overtime. But what does Matt Dodge do? Punch the ball straight down the middle. That was an unbelievable return. I'm, I'm just going to throw it out there. And Deshaun Jackson fumbled the ball. <laughs> so at the point you're like saying, he punched the ball down and they're like, no! And then he fumbles, yes! And then he takes it to the house and everyone's screaming Ooh. no again. And that was devastating, though. I mean, yeah. the, today is like you need a lot of help. But that was like, that knocked you out, period, done. Need a lot of help one. today. And but that then, was one of Andy Reid's uh, good good football, you know. Yeah. Good uh, spots. I mean, listen, he made it to the Super Bowl that year. you got to give him some type of homage for the, the resume he put together in Philadelphia, right? He's done a great job. He's the longest tenure coach for his organization. And I think Philly's going to miss him because now, he, obviously, Philly's going to be cleaning house next year. Everybody's you out know? of here. Vic's going to be out. Andy Reid's going to be out. We'll see what happens uh, with that team. They got a lot of young kids, and they're going to be in the rebuilding mode now with this kid Folds if they go with him next year for the next couple of years. So we'll see what's going on with the Philadelphia Eagles. But the Giants today, that's what counts. <laughs> in your, in that's your what counts. In New York, that's what counts. <laughs> but I have a feeling, because I've been hearing a lot of Giant fans talking. I've been talking to a lot of Giants fans, listening to them on the radio, seeing them on TV. They're just down, man. Yeah. You know, and it's like, I don't know why you guys are so down. You guys just won the Super Bowl last year. Just let Come it go. Yeah, a it's year, all right. It's not you, that big of a deal. Just a relax. Year, the only thing that's, uh, you know, frustrating is you're a year removed from the Super Bowl. You kind of have the same team put together, and this is what, you know, this is how they're performing on the field. You expect them to at least make a playoff run. Not, not another Super Bowl, but get into the, a lot of people I talk to, just get into the playoffs. Maybe a first round, get past the first round into the second round, but that's what you expect out of the Giants. You do have the same type of talent as they do as last year, the defensive line. That's something that we need to talk about with that defensive line. And that's something that needs to come to play today to win this game and end right. the season off on a high note because, guys, you know, that's what makes your team go. And if these guys aren't going, you got to come up with a different formula. So you're looking at a Giants team where... Hey, Tuck might be too old. Usi might be too old. JPP didn't play as good as he played, uh, la you know, last season or the season before. You, right. you know, so now you're looking at a situation where they might be looking at like, whoa, where do we go on the defensive side of the ball now? Because they get they, they, they get Perry, blown out. They, they, Atlanta's uh, giving them putting up 34. Atlanta, Baltimore, Baltimore put up back to back them weeks. like no problem. Yeah, back to back weeks they just blew the Giants out. Perry Fuel last week tried to go with a 4-4 defense. And everything that I've been hearing is that the the plays that he was calling were fine. It's just the players executing the play. Corey Webster getting burned, and I can't <laughs> I cannot even start right now with Corey Webster. Seriously. I know on this show we call him sometimes. You hear on all the radio stations, Carl Banks, he calls Corey Webster sometimes. He was he was no times on last Sunday. It was unbelievable what I was watching from Corey Webster. Just he can't cover anyone right now. Cannot cover anyone. He stays with the wide receiver until the last possible point of the football coming down. He just can't come up with the football. It's unbelievable what has been going on with Corey Webster this season. Now tell me this. If the Giants now if the Giants, what would you rather have? The Giants win, right? And then 
have uh, Minnesota lose and then Washington lose, right? So you basically you get you know you get well, the Giants the, no, out. yeah, that's what I mean. The Giants get out that way, yeah, or just see the Giants packing in and just call it a day. I honestly don't think it's gonna be it's not gonna make it past the one o'clock game. Uh, uh, it's gonna you, be, think, you think they're losing today, huh? Not, not just the Giants losing, but the Detroit Chicago game. It's gonna be tough. Uh, that's a key game today for the Giants. It's one of the three situations, and I think it's going to be huge for that defensive line for Detroit to go against the offensive line of Chicago. I think that's going to be the best matchup. Obviously, Brandon Marshall is going to be a problem for the Detroit secondary, but we'll see. We saw last week with Calvin Johnson breaking Jerry Rice's receiving record. We'll see where he's at with Matthew Stafford. We'll see how that game goes. Honestly, if I'm well, if the the Chicago goes out and dominates Detroit, Giants hopes are done. So, and that's it. Well, the Bears are minus three and forty-five, so yeah. it's not like they're they're favored by a ton of points here to win this game. Yeah, and Detroit could come out at the end of the season end the season off on a high note. It's not like it's out of the realm. No, it's Detroit not to beat the Bears. No, not at all. Detroit, uh, Chicago is one of those teams that we spoke about in past shows. You know, you don't know what team's going to show up with Chicago. A, a, a peak get uh break the rush record today. It's gonna be tough for him. It's gonna be tough. What it two hundred and five yards he needs? Yeah, he put himself it's... in a bad spot last week, man. Yeah. I was he, upset. Uh... I wanted to see him get at least hundred yards. Yeah. You know, like a hundred, hundred twenty five yards. Well, you, what what a comeback from <laughs> H, you know, from Adrian it. Peterson this season coming off that huge ACL tear from last season. Blew out his knee. Yeah. You think that his career is over or he'll never be the same as what he was in the past. And not only does he come out, and he's going for Eric Dickerson's rushing record this season. He's putting up a career year. Now here's now here's a question I was thinking about the other day. I wanted to ask you: If you're Adrian Peterson, what do you care more about? Do you care more about breaking Eric Dickerson's rushing record and having that, or getting into the playoffs with a team knowing that you can't win the Super Bowl? What is more important to you if you're Adrian Peterson? Well, I would think if I'm Adrian Peterson, just getting into the playoffs. You know, so if records, they say, all right, AP, listen, you only give us 75 yards today, but you get into the playoffs. I think he would take that. Or you get 210 yards, you break the record, but you're out of the playoffs. Uh, yeah, no, it's tough. Ah, oh, that's a tough one, right? Yeah. Rick, what would you do? Um, if I was AP, I'd want the individual record because I, I think that... <laughs> no, yeah, seriously. Um, as you know... Uh, quarterbacks, wide receivers, and uh, running backs are the three positions where they speak about being about team, but they're really about themselves. So you, I, you, you know he's going to put himself before anybody else on that team. I don't think he cares about the playoffs. Uh, well, that's why he, He's going to get paid anyway. He just wants that record. Um, listen, he was very focused on wanting to get that record, and I would love to know anybody out there that's listening, you're listening, call in, tell me what you would want, 631 Nine five five fifty four hundred. LB in the sports doc, the radio show coming to you live, baby. And I just want to throw this out there real quick, Lou. So any caller that calls in today is going to try to give me this answer. I got the sports doctor stat of the day today. All right, Jerry Rice is the all-time receiving leader in the NFL with one thousand five hundred and forty-nine receptions. Who's number two? That's the question of the day. Who's on Call the in right now, 631-955-5400, and give me the second all-time receiving leader. As everyone runs to Google. As right everyone. Now. That's all right. Yeah. Call in. That's all right. He just wants to call. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm telling you, I'm going to give you my answer. If I'm A. Pete, I know that we're not getting winning the Super Bowl with this team. I want the individual record. I know that's so bad to say. People, it really is. People are going to kill me for it, but whatever. You're a team it is guy, it is. Lou. Come on. That's a huge record to have, man. Yeah. I'm just saying. that, Especially, like Rick said, individual achievements in, in NFL football are a big deal. Look at right. Marino. Marino never got a Super Bowl, but he still is and will go down as one of the best quarterbacks ever to do it. Right? Right. And they interviewed okay. Eric Dickerson this morning. You know what he Did said? They? What did yeah. he say? He said he doesn't want eight trip in the <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. There you go. That's exactly. He said, finally, someone's honest. You know, all these guys, they always throw it out there like, oh, oh, I, you know, if someone's going to break my record, I, 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 I would be honored that it was him to break it, you know? Yeah, like, you hear these guys say that all the time. That's great that he's like, I don't want him to break that. Get out of here. Right. <laughs> he said that uh, AP, he wants him to stay healthy. He doesn't wish you know, any injuries upon Adrian Peterson, but he does not want that record to be broken. 
That's unbelievable. Yeah. That's good. I like that I was keeping it real over there with yeah. Eric Dickerson. Somewhere Eric Dickerson sitting with a uh, voodoo doll snapping its ankles. <laughs> you know what? And that's like the Miami Dolphin uh, football team. They do that every year, too. Oh. Pop you know, they, champagne. They, well, yeah, they pay attention to you know the last undefeated team, and then think about how well, how they were struggling while when New England was in there versus the Giants, right? Think of it like that. Yeah. That Miami Dolphin team was probably like, come on, please. Oh yeah. Please, Giants, please, oh please, knock these guys off. Absolutely. They had a party that night. <laughs> now this is what I wanted to also bring up to you, Houston Texans. Mm -hmm. If they lose today, right, they can possibly drop down to the three seed. Correct. Now, this is a team that was on top the whole entire season, dude. Yep. They're going to... Wow. And that would be who? Peyton and Brady as the one or two? Well, the Broncos, they get a win today. They would jump to the one, and Brady and the Patriots would move to the two wow. spot. Wow. Yeah. Now, that would be a bad collapse. I mean, I know all well, they're in the playoffs, but still, that that's tough if you're the Texans. Having home field advantage throughout the playoffs, end up buying the first round, and then just going straight to, you know, we're going to play a wild card game at home. And Pagano uh, is back. He's back on the sidelines today for the Indianapolis Colts. And they also made an announcement saying that they're going hard for all 60 minutes of this game, the Indianapolis Colts said. Oh, yeah, they, they should. Absolutely. I'm a yeah. big believer. Just play it out, man. Just play it out. Right, absolutely. We saw in past seasons with the Green Bay Packers and sitting out Aaron Rodgers. They had a bye in the first round, and then what happened last season? You know? Yeah. That's, these teams now, they have to play these games out. You know, you're talking about the Atlanta Falcons. They have the number one seed locked up in the NFC. What are they going to do today? I know they're against the Bucks, but do they play all their guys? Or they go, um, they're sitting, Matt Ryan maybe in the second half? And that's almost three weeks of them not playing football if they right. don't play them. So, you know, you're going to be a little rusty coming back for the playoffs. Yeah. Listen, I'm a big believer. Just play your guys and that's that, man. Right. That's how I Play the games out. Let the chips fall where they may. And how things have been working out, sometimes... You know, not getting a bye works out better for you because you build momentum. You, you know, you build an attitude. You look what the Giants did last year. Same, Giants, you know? Packers. We've so seen annoying it. to me that I gotta keep on throwing out the Giants as that scenario. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. I'm yeah, gonna be honest totally with you, dude. It really is. Amazing with the Bron. Are you in agreement with me that Peyton Manning's MVP, or are you one of these guys that thinks uh, uh, Adrian Peterson should right? get it? No, I think the MVP should go to the best player on one of the. Best teams. Yeah, because someone was trying to argue with me the other day, like, oh, AP, AP. I'm like, yo, how are you going to tell me Adrian Peterson? I'm like, Peyton Manning's on a 10 game winning streak right now in the NFL. He's re he's destroying the NFL right now. I, I know. I know he is. And, you know, it's just the fact that both these players are going to be fighting for comeback player of the year as well, because obviously the knee injury with Adrian Peterson, the neck injuries with Peyton Manning, but the year that Peyton Manning has had. No one expected this. Do you expect that? I did. You know, I, dude, I was killing him. Right. I was one of those guys. That, oh yeah, he's gonna get hit and his neck's gonna get broken. He's <laughs> never gonna play again. They wasted ninety six million dollars. Yeah, I'm eating my words right now. Hey, he puts it together. Perfectly good. Having an MB, MVP type season this year. All right, let's go to a phone call. We got Mike from Pittsburgh. Mike, what's going on? You're on the LB and Sports Doctor Radio Show. Uh oh, Mike! I'm happy you called because uh, you now. Now tell me what goes to your head because you're one of these fanatics, like really, really crazy fanatics. Tell me your day, how you set it up, and what you're gonna do right now for this game tonight. I mean, you gotta wait till eight o'clock tonight. <laughs> Go ahead, what is it? Oh, 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 oh my god, last week you're about to jump wow. off the side of the building tell me that this team is garbage and now you're guaranteeing a victory. Wow. This is the same guy that was guaranteeing we were going to have some new revolutionary offense for the Jets this year with Tebow and Sanchez. Unbelievable call, Mike. You are pumped up right now, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> 
So you're kicking your wife out of the house tonight for this game? You're going to lock yourself in the room? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, nice. I, the Cowboys are definitely going to have to stop the run tonight against the Redskins, Alfred Morris. The Redskins are number one rushing team in the NFL this season. It's definitely going to be a tough test for the Cowboys. But we'll see what happens with Tony Romo. One in five in week 17 and in playoff games, Mike. So hopefully uh, Mike, for us Giant fans, he doesn't let anybody down. Well, listen, Mike's all pumped up today. Yeah. Mike, you know I'm not going to... Oh, if I was Mike, I'd definitely be pumped up today. Big game yeah, for the boys today. Yeah, of course. Today. Absolutely for the boys. Absolutely. Now, Mike, you know I'm not going to let you off the hook with this. I uh, get an email. Me and the sports doctor get an email. What's up with you, your boy Scott Mitchell, man? Yeah. He got nervous. Got me all excited. You got me all excited thinking I'm going to have Scott Mitchell on there. And I was like, oh, let me look up Scott Mitchell. Career highlights, not any. You know, yeah. I was like, wow. I'm like, wow, this is crazy. And then I look up the whole Lomas Brown situation. Uh, it, it, Mike, doesn't it, it go crazy? And Chris and Rick, everybody. Isn't it amazing that Lomas Brown, you have a cake gig at ESPN. Has this really been eating you up this much that you're just going to turn around and throw something out there like that? Like, bro, you've been holding on to it for how many years? Yeah. Keep it to yourself. That makes you look so bad. What is wrong with Lomas Brown where he has to turn around and, and, and self-implode on this situation? Right. I, uh, I was excited to have uh, Scott Mitchell on the show. It's, uh, you know, all right, so he didn't come on. That's all right. But I was looking some stuff up about him, and... He was actually one of the guys that he would give gifts to all of his offensive linemen. Yeah. He would throw parties at his house. He would have the best food. He would have all these, you know, types of women there, I guess, for these guys and stuff like that. So it was like a party. He, like, really, you know, he treated these guys very, very well, especially uh, Lomas that he said in the interview that he did. And for Lomas to just miss a block and get his quarterback hurt intentionally. Oh, man. Rick, what's your take? Um, the problem with Lomas Brown is that uh, no one was talking about Lomas Brown, yeah. <laughs> and he's he's in he's at ESPN and analyst or wherever he was. I didn't know who he was until the story came up. Um, so I, I guess with so many former NFLers on the ESPN staff, I yeah. guess maybe he felt a little lost. He's been in doing the shuffle. some afternoon shows, and he does the uh, Lomas clause. Yeah, like he, he does dresses Lomas up as, clause. He dresses up like Santa Claus. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that, it still that doesn't register on my <laughs> right. Now I know his name. Right. Yeah, because, you know, if I'm not watching um, AP, uh, Antonio Pierce, they're grinning like a, like a Cheshire cat yeah. every time the Giants lose because he's loving it. You know, that's the only time they, they bring him out of the closet. Uh, you know, so, you know, I'm, I'm sure Lomas felt the need to, you know, put his name out there. Yeah. I feel bad for the quarterback. I feel bad for Scott Mitchell getting wrecked. Broke but, his hand on the play. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. broke his hand on the yeah. play. Unbelievable. I'm going to get this guy out of here. That's what Brown said. I'm going to get this guy out of here. Mike, thanks for calling in today, man. Well. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, hold on. You're not going oh. anywhere right now. What do you mean, <laughs> downfall of the Knicks? Are you crazy? And let me, get, let me guess, the uprise of the Celtics with Avery Bradley coming back? Is that what you're putting your whole entire season on right now, Avery Bradley? <laughs> uh, you, Mike, you, want know, you want to know something, Mike? You're right. I do know there is going to be some type of controversy going on. You're right, and I and I do see it in the for, in the future with this team. But I do think that this team, uh, you know, still will not implode totally. You know, we'll still be a top four seed. I think we. Oh, okay. Oh, God, here we go. Mike, Mike thank you very much, man. Mike, thanks, man. All right, remember you're listening to the LB and Sports Doctor Radio Show on WLIE, 5.40 a.m. Number to call is 631-955-5400. Call in. Giant fans, big game for us today. We're going to need some help. 
They need some help by three different teams, but the Jets also, they're in Buffalo today at 1 o'clock. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> the Nobody Cares Bowl. Oh, yeah. oh my God. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> I mean, honestly, I don't even care about the Jets. You're listening to LB and the Sports Doctor on WLIE. Call in 631-955-5400. Dude is quality gutters, famous since 1985. We service old. Time to take care of your gutter and leader needs. We handle cleaning, screening, repairs, and new installations. Call for an estimate today, 631-758-0812, or email them at dqginc at gmail.com. That's Dude is quality gutters. Mr. Softy Ice Cream is the original ice cream store on wheels, family owned and operated for more than 50 years, and proud supporter of the LB and Sports Doctor radio show. Mr. Softy Ice Cream will come to your next event, birthdays, weddings, fundraisers, employee appreciations, and much more. Call the office today to make a res reservation to have a truck at your next event. Ask for Carrie or Linda, and they will be happy to help. The first 10 people to book a party will receive a free gift. Call 631-643-8160 or email them at lisofty at gmail.com. Mr. Softy Ice Cream serving the very best for over 50 years. Rammy's Barbershop, established in 2004, serving men, women, and children. We specialize in all types of haircuts, skin fades, tape-ups, shape-ups, and hot towel shaves. Located at 1075 Main Street in Holbrook, New York. Call for an appointment today, 631-467-0075. Open seven days a week and form a barber of the New York Yankees. Rammy's Barbershop, you name it, and you got it. And headlines, Christopher, December 30th at 10.12 a.m., reported by ESPN's Adam Schefter. Not a shocker, Jets will fire offensive coordinator Joni, Tony Sperano. Surprise, surprise. They need to get somebody else in here. I anyway. love how they're going to try making him to be the scapegoat in this whole situation. Yeah. I mean, this team is just, this organization is just a joke. You think they're going to make a move at North Turner next season? They're saying Cam, uh, Cam Cameron and North Turner, that's who they're looking at. Yeah. Unbelievable, we don't even play weeks. <laughs> 17 yet. It didn't work out this year with Tony Sperano. It didn't work. I think it didn't work out because our team was trash. I, listen, I like Tony Sperano. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Tony you, Sperano guy. You're a fan of him? They didn't have the weapons on offense. This is very true. But a good coach will adjust to his personnel, and he did not do that. No, season. I know. Well, he's gone. But listen, what are you going to do, man? I, 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 honestly, in, in, a real, in real talk right now, if you're the Jets, if you're Woody Johnson, right. don't you just say, you know what? Just get rid of Rex, get rid of Town. Don't you, don't you really just do that? I mean, what are you going to get rid of Town about for or demote him into, like, a numbers guy and then bring another offense corner? And keep, I mean, it's still going to be the same old circus. And I know he loves the fact that all of the sports talk radio stations right now are talking oh, about the Jets. Woody Johnson is loving over. this right now. But it's now. like, dude, when, are you gonna e when is he ever going to equal the wins in your world? You know what I mean? Because me being a Jet fan, it's annoying. Right. It's like, does it count for anything? You, you know what I'm saying? It's, right. it's, it sucks. Woody Johnson, are you out to sell PSLs or are you out to win football games? That's what it comes down to. And but he's not selling PSLs unless you win football games. That's my point. Correct. I there you go. <laughs> you know, I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense. Like, this whole Tebow situation really, listen, I'm not like Mr. Uh, Tebow lover here, but it annoyed me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, the one guy that I wanted to see play.